Pashat Tetzave, and it's soon going to be Purim. Pashat Tetzave describes to us the clothes of the high priest. For every important job, you have to have the correct clothing. And the high priest's clothing, spiritually, philosophically, is carefully gilded, carefully woven. Because not only does it have to produce the right atmosphere for people to look at, it has to create this right spiritual energy for the job of the high priest. Every garment is essential, the way it's worn is important as well. And the festival of Purim is going to be upon us very soon. Interesting enough, many people have a tradition during the festival of Purim to get dressed, to wear different sorts of clothes. Why is it that we need to get changed on Purim? Why is it that we need to get dressed in special ways on Purim? You see, when it comes to Purim, people remind themselves of the miracle of God behind the clothes, God behind the image. Isn't it fascinating how people view people in different ways once they're wearing different clothing? One minute they're dressed in one way, and one minute they're dressed in another. The genius, however, is to see who's behind the clothing. You see, the high priest can be beautifully dressed, but he needs to be a high individual, a spiritual genius, a great person beneath the clothes. And when we get dressed up on Purim, it's not about what's on the external, it's about what's behind. In the miracle of Purim, God reminds us he's always behind. Every day when we look ourselves in the mirror, remind ourselves who we really are and ensure we live up to our spiritual responsibility. Have a great Purim and enjoy yourself this Shabbat.